All right, let's look at how inventory counting works in HandyFox Desktop, not to be confused with HandyFox Online. As you can see, my device is assigned to the Warehouse 2 site. So this is where I'm going to be counting inventory. There is a way you can switch between sites, but at any given time, you can only see or work with inventory at one site. So let's go to inventory and then inventory counting. And it's already showing us some counts. This is what the system thinks we currently have on hand. And you can see there is a column for the new quantities that you have counted. You can enter counts by hand here from the on-screen keyboard, but typically you would want to scan product barcodes for accuracy's sake when possible. So I can pick up the scanner and start scanning some items. And as you can see, every time I scan any item, it increments its count by one and records it into the new quantity field. So at this point, if I want to reset everything I've done and start over, I can hit the clear button and that will revert everything I've done and uh, give me a clear counting session again. So no results here whatsoever. I can count something else then. And at this point, if I need to uh, take a break, stop counting inventory and go do something else, I can do that either by using the save button or just leaving the screen and it will ask you uh, whether you want to save changes. And if you save, you can then go back to this same counting session and all the counts you have already entered will be there. You can also print out the counting results at any point through the counting session via the print button. So if I switch to the letter sized printer here, we can see how it looks. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Also this full inventory count feature allows you to zero out everything and set everything to zero besides the items you have counted. So this is useful when you want to count absolutely everything you have on hand and have everything else be set to zero. So, as you can see, after I turn this on, everything gets set to zero, except what I have counted. This one, uh, you see the quantity on hand is rather large, so depending on your workflow, you may not want to scan all 90-ish pieces one by one. So what I'm going to do is just enter the quantity by hand, and let's say we have found one piece more than we thought we had. All right, and this assembly here, let's say we've only found nine pieces instead of 10. And as for this item, I wanted to show you one more mechanic in HandyFox, one more thing. Um, so this barcode here increments the quantity by one, but I also happen to have unit of measure sets turned on in my QuickBooks company. So what I can do, uh, let's say this item also comes in boxes of 50. So I can assign a separate barcode to such a box of 50. And when I scan it, it will increment the, the count by 50 pieces at a time. So I have this barcode just off screen here. So if I scan it, it increments the quantity by 50. And that barcode is different from the barcode for the single piece that I have right here. So let's say uh, that in the warehouse we have found three full boxes and then eight more loose pieces. So this is two less than we than what we expected to find. And finally, when you have counted everything you wanted to count and uh, ready to finish, you can hit apply and that will finalize the session. And next time you synchronize, it will submit it for approval, which is the next point I'm going to discuss. By default, uh, new counting sessions need to be reviewed and approved by someone on the desktop computer. So that's what we are going to look at next. And until that happens, you cannot start a new counting session. It's all locked. So let me go, let me synchronize the app. And now let's switch to my QuickBooks and let's see the counting results and how the approval happens and 
what the net result is. All right, so I have synchronized the app and back in QuickBooks, if we go to file, Andy Fox counting sessions, we can see that there is a new counting session uh, done by John Doe, which is who we were in the mobile app on Warehouse 2 that's waiting for approval. So let's check the counting sessions that, that we are interested in. And here we can click print to print out a, a hard copy of the counting results. We can click void to just completely discard all of the results and delete this counting session. We can click view to see all the new quantities and the quantity differences compared to the old counts. But most importantly, we can click apply here to make these new counts take effect and add them to our, to our system. But before we click save here, we can optionally uncheck some rows and uh, this will basically discard them and the new counts for these items will not be applied. So let me leave the count for this assembly unchecked. So it was 10, we have counted 9. And uh, for some reason, say as a manager, I don't think that's correct, that that's accurate. So I want to discard this result and apply everything else. All right, and there are no more counting sessions. So um, let's look at our quantity on hand viewer and see how the new counts look. So right now, remember we were counting inventory on warehouse two, so we are not interested in warehouse one right now. So this item had 160, currently it has 158. This one was 89 and now we have counted 90. And this one was 10, we have counted 9, but I have discarded the new count for it, so it's still at 10. And if we go to and, and try to see the same counts in QuickBooks, we can do that because I happen to have multiple inventory sites in this company file. So I think this is one of the items we have counted. So if I go into the breakdown by site, for this item, but we can see warehouse two has 158. And the other one I think was this one. Yes, it's at 90. And the assembly The assembly is staying at 10. And lastly, I wanted to talk a little about how you can parallelize inventory counts and count inventory from multiple devices concurrently. So let's say two workers have been counting inventory in warehouse two at the same time going through different sections of the warehouse, uh, each using their own mobile device and they have found and counted the same item. So one of the workers have found 18 pieces in their respective part of the warehouse and the other found 23. So you have two counting sessions from each of them. If you apply them in sequence, so if you first apply the first one and then the other one, then the second one will overwrite the one that came before it and the net result will be 23 but if you mark and apply them both at the same time then the counts from both counting sessions will add up and the net result will be the sum of everything the two workers have counted so this is how you can do such a thing all right i think this is everything for today and uh, stay tuned for more check out our website get a free trial thanks for watching Goodbye.